welcome to the another part where I'm explaining to you and revealing the complete one of the I would say strongest algorithm how to predict numbers outcome I'm using some kind of simulation of Markov chains and flow indicators so let's continue in previous part we we said that we are analyzing such a number of spins and calculating successful non-hit appearances so and now we analyze trend flow indicators so in general I'm taking parameter number one which I said my best results I'm re re receiving if it is 20 spins then I calculate number of hits per fixed pattern so in the last 20 spins and another last 20 spins in total 40 spins so I'm calculating two parts I'm going through the 20 spins back and looking for how many times the every fixed pattern out of 10 fixed patterns hit and then increasing the counter and then I calculate the flow following way if fixed pattern hit ratio is higher than zero so at, at least once this pattern hit for example in last 20 spins I add this value to total flow sum so actually I'm summing making some of the let's say all 10 fixed patterns only if the ratio is higher than zero actually you can sum all of them all 10 because if there's zero there is no increase in your total flow right so then you sum up the hitting frequency of these fixed patterns and you divide it by your parameter one which is in our case 20 spins right and the same you will do for the another 20 spins back right so you take the second part of the number sequence in total 40 spins and you do the same you sum up the fix uh, hit ratio of all fixed patterns and you divide it by 20 spins because your parameter 2 is also 20 spins right so and if your successful non hit appearance is per fixed pattern is higher than parameter 1 which is in our case 20 spins you delete it to zero so you remember then we were calculating something like successful non hit appearances per fixed parameter fixed pattern and if it is really higher than parameter one which is 20 spins but keep in mind the new parameter one can be any number of spins can be 8 10 5 it's up to you you have to keep it flexible then you delete it to zero then the next step is then you sort all successful non hit appearances per fixed pattern in total we have a 10 fixed patterns so that we want to see the let's say the highest number of successful non hit appearances on top so we are saying if fixed pattern for example here is 3 13 23 33 is reaching um, 4 then and this is a this is a maximum so the others they have a lower values then this is a first on top of the sorting sorted array and the other fixed patterns are simply consequently going down then maybe the other, other pattern has a 3 2 1 0 0 0 this is all possible so we want to see the pattern with the highest number of successful non-hit appearances on top right and now when you actually start to bet so I personally start to play if my flow one indicator is higher or bigger than the parameter 3 and when the flow 2 indicator is also higher than parameter number 4 and I take the fixed pattern with the highest successful non hit appearance so in the next let's say part of the series I will introduce you how exactly this might look like